Cool. Welcome, everyone, to Digital Detox. Thanks, Alex, for a splendid welcome. Uh, I'm Alex as well, another Alex. And today I'm going to talk, about, talk to you about Mio, which is this armband here, and its JavaScript library. Now, nothing much to say about me. I'm just an Italian, well, a full stack developer working here, and co founder of Biscuits. And this is Mio. Now, Mio is an Arben that allows you to um, detect the gesture of your hand through electromyography sensors, which means every uh, gesture your hand is making, every movement your hand and your forearm is making, Mio recognizes it and allows you to use it with the code. We'll see how. It's more difficult to explain what it can do, but what I can do is show you this video with the sound of my computer, unlikely. Now, as developers, I think you can understand how did I feel the first time I wore one of them. <laughs> I basically can be Iron Man. That's what you're telling me. Let's see quickly how it works. So it's based on electromyography. That's why the name. And that is what makes everything perfect to be detected by, your, or by the armband. I'm going to read it. So, electromyography is an electrodiagnostic technique for evaluating and recording the electrical activity produced by the skeletal muscles. But what does it mean? We have these gestures and motion uh, achievable on a meal. So, the gestures are double tap, fist, spread fingers, wave in, wave out. And the motions we have is the rotation and, in general, the movement of the arm and forearm. Mio provides us a diagnostic page, so I'm going to quickly show you how does it respond, if I can find the mouse. Cool. So you can see, I'm using the right arm, it's locked, battery level, and we're going to see everything here. So double tap will unlock Mio in whatever application, so we're going to see it after as well. So double tap, unlock. Release, locked again. On here, these four rectangulars will show my electromyography. On, so everything, basically the muscles' um, tensions. So if I tend my muscles, you can see how sensitive it is. Just to be clear, I'm not selling the product. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm thinking of the application. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just a developer, a curious developer uh, who wants to share knowledge or as soon oh, what I found out on the web. So let's keep going. We have all the orientation accelerometer so you can see the cube moving as I'm moving my arm and the rotation. And on the right bottom, you can see the gesture feed. So first I will unlock and I will go through all the gestures and you will see the icon and the name. So double tap, double tap again, spread fingers, uh, sorry, what's that? Web out. Sorry, I can't see anything. So I was saying, web out, web in, and fist. You can see also the strength. And about the event feed, we're going to come back later to that. Cool. The first thought I had when I saw Mio was its um, implication in the medical environment. So I found out actually this guy, they were able to plug Mio on its arm, in this case two Mio armbands, so he was able to move the robotic arm uh, because of course, he, well, he lost his arm and so he was able to move the robotic one, which I think is pretty incredible.
Of course, it's listening for all the hand muscles, which you will know are all between here and here. And just with that, he was able to move it. But let's see if other platforms we can develop with. Web applications, JavaScript, we're going to look at today. Then Arduino for your domotic systems and home automation, virtual reality, computer applications, and smartphone applications. Quickly, let's have a look to what this guy did with Arduino. So he was able to lock and unlock his home door with Arduino and me, of course. So again, double tap, unlocks the application, perform a fist, rotate, unlock it. You're going to see it better, because now it shows inside. So you can see Arduino there. Again, double tap to unlock it. Fist, rotate, close it again. That's pretty cool. Even cooler, this guy's here. Basically, with two Arduinos and augmented reality, they were able to make you fly and should basically, again, be Iron Man. Let's start. Let's see how does it work. This is our JavaScript library. You can see it's very, very simple. You just include the Mio library either with CDN or NPM in this case. Then Mio.connect with whatever application name you're going to find. Connects Mio, the armband, to the application on your computer, which already, of course, downloaded. Uh, then it's all, uh, everything is based on events. So you listen for certain events, and you put a callback. This is it. So in this case, specific case, Mio.onConnected, so whenever you connect Mio to the application, it will vibrate. Keep in mind that this here is the actual R band, while capital M Mio is the class, which means that every time you connect, this will be overwritten. If you want to use multiple Mios and pretend you're Iron Man, you need to store it in an array or something like that. Let's have a look to methods and events we have. So we have on, off, lock, unlock, vibrate, stream, and G, and events are pose, and all the poses, such as feast, spread fingers, web in, web out, orientation, arm synced, connected, locked, and the battery level. For a better view of all the events and methods, you can see the documentation. The slides will be uh, available online or uh, speaker deck. Let's do some live coding. Ooh. <laughs> cool. So let's include our library. Already npm installed Mio, just npm installed Mio, but I'm not going to do it now. Then Mio.connect, uh, con.alex.dd. Then Mio.on connected. We have our function, and inside, we will listen for, yes? Just a quick question, maybe this is a better time to ask. Yeah. Just, uh, from a security standpoint, yeah. what's, what's involved here? I mean, uh, I mean what, what is the connectivity, first of all? Oh, it's just. How do you make sure that people aren't uh, there is, arms and Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Uh, you probably can't see it, but there is a USB plugged in here. Uh, I don't want to move that much, but it's here. Uh, these will establish the, through the web sockets, a connection I'm going to speak about later better, and through the Bluetooth. So it's pretty one-to-one, -one and it's safe. So nobody, nobody should unlock your door or something. There is, yeah, there is an ID as well. So. Yeah, you also, you need to run an application on your computer or on an Arduino. So it's linked already. You link it the first time. It's not, you know, it's not like uh, someone can come to the Mio armband and unlock your door. Uh, so uh, let's put an event on the post. Uh, post returns a post name, which are, we are just console log it. Cool. Let's run it. Uh, Amber.js. 
So I unlock Mio, and every time I perform a pose, it's console logging uh, the whatever I'm doing. Let's make it a bit more complicated. So let's delegate everything on a function called fire events, which accept a Mio instance. And let's run it here. Fire events, this. Cool. So here we'll say Mio on, I said we have also access to all uh, the post events. So we'll say fist. We're gonna set another event listener on the orientation which is that returns a data object with x, z, the y. And we're going to console log data x. Actually, also what I want, on fist off, oh yeah, thank you. The beautiful thing of the light coding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we said, yep, we're going to do Mio off orientation. Again, you can see it's very, very simple. So double tap, perform a fist, and this is the orientation, so is the X. You can see I change it. When I stop to perform the fist, it stops. So again, double tap, and here we are. Uh, uh, let's make it another bit more complicated by creating a function called log it, which accepts data and a string. And we will return an array made of the data plus one because otherwise it would be negative in the case of the orientation, which you saw is going to plus 0 0.9 to minus 0 0.9. Multiplied by 100, and then we join everything with a string. And then here, we call the function, passing data x, and an asterisk, save for all of them. Z, Y, maybe a slash. Cool. Let's see what happens. Double tap, fist, and here we are. So you can see how sensitive it is. I stop performing the fist, it stops. And this is, in my opinion, a perfect application could be for a DJ. So why you playing, you can turn all the audio up and down and the effects. If you want to make it a bit more complicated, you can do how these guys did. <laughs> so they manage an application so that the DJ could control the light system in a club with the two Mio armbands. Cool. Let's go on. WebSockets, we spoke about it. Quickly, WebSockets is an advanced technology that makes it possible to open an interactive communication session between the user's browser and a server. With this API, you can send messages to a server and receive an event-driven responses without having to pull the server for a reply. Who was done know already. What does it mean? Mio applies the new socket connection to a property. So then it's able to do the send and on message. What does it mean? Whenever you perform a gesture with Mio, whenever you move your arm with Mio, it sends the data to the WebSocket, connection again with a computer through Bluetooth, which provides a JSON formatted data to the library, Mio.js, which is listening for the event. And that's why we are able to do Mio.on pose and return it. On the other way around, you can send things to the Mio, such as vibrate, a lock, a lock. So you can say Mio.vibrate, it will send the message through JSON formatted data to the WebSocket, and the WebSocket will send it to Mio, which is 
listening for those events. In details, that's the actual function for the post. You can see it's just triggering these two functions, sorry, two events. The first one is directly the events with the data pose. That's why I can do on spread fingers, on wave in, wave out of, of fist. The other one is the one we uh, used in the live coding in the first exercise. So pose and the data pose. So it returns the post name. On the other hand, that's how it sends functions to the WebSocket. So in this case, that's the vibrate. You can set the intensity and which meal, if it's not already the latest connected. And it sends the JSON format the data to the WebSocket. WebSocket support uh, is pretty good all over the places, apart from my. Uh, which is 10, which is more than expected. But anyway, you can use uh, NPM. Uh, just there is a polyfill for that for all the browsers and requires called WS. The Mio market is online. You can download applications for Mio as Mac or Windows application, augmented, rea augmented reality applications. And it's not full of applications. So if you find looking for a place where you're going to share your ideas, that could be a good solution because it's one of the few markets that's not full of other applications such as the iOS or the Google ones. Uh, you can find stuff as a Spotify connector where you can switch songs or browser connector or find a connector. Let's snap. I'll prepare a, a little applications for you. So let's go there. Pretend you don't see. That thing. Okay, cool. So, welcome, welcome. You're you're on the TV. Now I'm um, will be able to control this web application, just web application with Mio. So double tap, unlock, perform feast, picture. Again, spread fingers. Go back, unlock, fist, picture. Or from here, I can wave in, wave out to go through the pictures. I want to try something. Just bear with me. Um, may you please, everyone, right arm to the right. Right arm to the right. Right arm to the right. Right? Cool. Don't, not too hard, not too hard. Cool. Now, right arm. Wait. Can't see anything. You can stay, you can just relax. Oh, it's already here, sorry. Right arm to the left. Cool, that's right. No, the other one, the other one, sorry. One more, sorry. I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it. Oh, we take it this one, sorry, sorry. We take the, we, yeah, we take the left one, sorry. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, but I want a picture with you. Yeah. Cool, the camera is there. Ready? Cool. Nice. Nice. So if you have any questions, go on. <laughs>